going on YouTube. We've got another update going on here. As you can see in my uh, fall crop bed here. Got a few new crops there. I've got some kale and um, some radicchio over here in this uh, row right here on this side. And as you can see, everybody else is looking pretty good, uh, except right over here on this guy, as well as on this guy right there. Had a little uh, crop damage. Um, these little tiny um, caterpillar looking things were crawling on there, eating everything up. So I took them off and threw them into the tank, and you should have seen the catfish go after those. They really appreciated that at lunch. And as you can see right here, I have another kale and uh, threw that into this lava rock bed. And as you can see, the peppers are just about doing the same old thing. But uh, these tomatoes here are actually uh, starting to take off a little bit. They're probably gonna need some uh, a stick for each one of them so they can uh, be propped up here shortly. This basil's starting to fill in pretty good here, as well as this basil. Hey look, we've got a, uh, another little pest right there. A grasshopper type thing, or a leaf hopper going to give him to the fish as well as that basil had a little crop damage to that one and had to take that little uh, damage maker and throw him into the tank too and watch him get eaten by the catfish which was my entertainment for the afternoon and this tomato here is looking a little bit ragged and buddy right here is uh, looking a little tall these two tomatoes right here are or actually this is about three tomatoes all standing up nice and tall, all fruiting. And another jalapeno and a Santa Fe, not looking so hot. Habanero, however, has tons of growth coming in on the bottom. And you can see inside the fish tank here, you can see inside that two inch coupler right there. Um, my catfish is hanging out in there. He loves hanging out in that one. One of the big ones, and as you can see, his whiskers are pretty much the size of the uh, coupler. But with him being so dark, it's uh, very difficult to actually see them in here unless you're actually looking at right in here with the sunshine. And they don't like it where the sunshine, so usually it's pretty hard to see them without a flashlight. And during the night is more fun to watch them anyway because they're more active and they swim around and eat anything you throw in there. And another angle of all my uh, winter crops here. Looking all perky and uh, standing up nice and tall. Yeah. And as you can see, everything is, um, I know, <laughs> if you know anything about gardening, you'd be like, wow, everything's in there really tight and uh, uh, very close to each other. And that's what I always try to do, starting with the jalapeno aquaponic challenge that I did with uh, all those jalapenos in that 18 by 18 inch area. Uh, however many it was, it was more than a dozen. Um, Ever since then, I try to put everything in as tight as I can. I mean, this is not tight at all, I don't think. I think I have it all spaced out, like, pretty good. But uh, I keep, like, this row right here and uh, another row right there uh, open for more plants. That way, uh, like I said, I want to cram them in here as close as I can because that's the whole point of aquaponics is uh, they're not competing in the soil for the nutrients. They already get it in the water. All right, well, no major construction or uh, anything giant going on this week. Just uh, planting a few more plants in here. See how they're doing later on. Until next time. Later.